I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me the Milky Way name came from a Greek goddess named Hera Who spilled milk across the sky Greeks believed in that era When you look at the darkest sky on a clear summer night And you see the image of the Milky Way clear in sight Remember you can only see a small part of me Called the galactic core in my galaxy Astronomers can't look at me from outside the galaxy Because I'm so massive and you don't have the technology based on other galaxies we see outside of our own is why we conclude that our galaxy spiraled as i'm shown when you look at a side view of the milky way here you see me as a flat disc with a bulge center i appear i am the milky way galaxy look in the night sky to see a part of me i am the milky way galaxy your solar system's just a tiny part of me I was born about 13.6 billion years ago That's a hypothesis given from astronomers though I am 100,000 light years in diameter That's an estimate given by NASA though they can't be sure Your solar system's this tiny dot that you see right here Astronomers think that Orion's first where your system appears Your system's guess to be 20 5,000 light years from the galactic center of the Milky Way shown here About 230 million years is what your system takes to orbit around the Milky Way center's cool shape 200 to 400 billion stars live in me That's an estimate only based on our astronomy Over 100 billion planets might exist in me Maybe someday you can see them in our galaxy I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me Let's take a look at all the parts that you think I'm made of We'll start by looking down at the galaxy above the galactic core is the rotational center you can't see Because of the interstellar dust it cannot be studied It's believed the center is a supermassive black hole When astronomers find out more then I will let you know You'll notice the galactic bar and also the long bar There's the three KPC arms, there is a near and there's a far Then we have the Sagittarius and the Norma arms Then the Orion spur where your solar system spins on The Scutum Centaurus and Perseus arm Are two major spirals and full of the galaxy's charm Finally the outer arm and the new outer arm Are the final spirals I will mention in this song I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy your solar system's just a tiny part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me Check out the new KLT Geography Channel with new videos every Saturday. Around 28 million light years from Earth, there is a whirlpool galaxy. Its name is Messier 51. That's what I'm part of, you see. I am the first exoplanet found outside your Milky Way galaxy. Since I'm located outside of your galaxy, an exoplanet's what you'd call me. In the constellation of Canis Venatici, you'll find the Whirlpool galaxy. It goes by the name of Mes.
easier. 51 or call it M51, it's easy. Inside N51 is the sun like star 28 million light years from Earth. The star orbits around a neutron star or a black hole. Now let's move forth. I orbit this sun like star. I am a Saturn like planet. They had found. I am classified as an extra planet. Outside the Milky Way, I was crowned. Out of the thousands of exoplanets found inside the Milky Way galaxy, I am the first extra planet ever found. This is a big deal, you'd have to agree. Researchers use NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory to detect the dimming of X-rays from an X-ray binary. An X-ray binary is a system where a sun-like star is in orbit around a black hole or a neutron star. I do admit it's quite profound. I was discovered based on transits, but what exactly does that mean? It's what happens when a planet crosses in front of a star, blocking its light, it's how I'm seen. This neutron star or black hole is pulling in gas from my star, closely orbiting. This material pole becomes superheated, then it glows in x-rays. It's out of this world, that's a thing. I was discovered by the astronomers under Rosandi Stefano, you see. The name I was given by my founders is M51 ULS 1B. Around 28 million light years from Earth, there is a whirlpool galaxy. Its name is Messier 51. That's what I'm part of, you see. I am the first exoplanet found outside your Milky Way galaxy. Since I'm located outside of your galaxy. An extra planet's what you'd call me. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big, of course, now here we come. I'm Segway 2, I'm a dwarf spheroidal galaxy, situated in the constellation of Aries. My radius is 110.89 light years, they say. Discovered in 2009 by Sloan Digital Sky Survey. My name's Messier32, a dwarf early type galaxy, am I? 2.65 million light years from Earth, I fly. I was discovered in the year of 1749. I am 6,500 light years across, and that's just fine. I'm small, Magellanic Cloud, or Nubicula Minor, a dwarf irregular. Galaxy, there's nothing finer. I'm near the Milky Way, but not a stone's toss. My diameter's about 7,000 light years across. I'm Triangulum, a spiral galaxy, you see. Sometimes I'm referred to as a pinwheel galaxy. I was discovered officially in 1764. I'm 50,000 light years across. This info is now yours. I'm the Whirlpool Galaxy, also called Messier 51. I'm a spiral galaxy, my arms reach out while I'm spun. I was first discovered in the year of 1773. 76,000 light years is the distance across me. I'm the Milky Way galaxy, a gigantic spiral disk with a bright central bulge that you can't miss. I'm 100,000 light years, your sun is 8 kpc from my center. On what is known as Orion's arm, it's a real bender. 
I'm Hoag's object, a non-typical galaxy of the type known as the Ring Galaxy, as you can see. 121,000 light years across, bigger than the Milky Way, discovered by author Hoag in 1958. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big, of course, now here we come. I'm the Cartwheel Galaxy, a lenticular and ring galaxy, discovered by Fritz Wicke in 1941. I'm 150,000 light years across, my beauty is number one. I am M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, discovered by Pierre Michon in 1781, if you please. I'm 170,000 light years across, nearly twice the size of the Milky Way, now that's quite a toss. I'm the Andromeda Galaxy, a spiral galaxy, I say, in the nearest major galaxy to your Milky Way. My name stems from the constellation of Andromeda. I'm 220,000 light years across, I'll be seeing ya. I'm NGC 6872, also known as Condor Galaxy. I'm a large part spiral galaxy, I'm sure you'd agree. Discovered in 1835 by John Herschel, the boss. I'm very large at 700,000 light years across. I'm the giant temple galaxy, a disrupted part spiral, you see. I was discovered in the year of 2018. I'm 10 times the size of the Milky Way that's extremely large my friend. I'm 1 million light years long from end to end. I'm IC 1101, a supergiant elliptical galaxy. I'm one of the largest known galaxies found in your universe. You see, discovered in the year of 1790 by John Herschel. 6 million light years across what stars I am full. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. Check out the new KLT Geography channel with new videos every Saturday. I am the Milky Way Galaxy. Look in the night sky to see a part of me. I am the Milky Way Galaxy. Your solar system's just a tiny part of me. The Milky Way name came from a Greek goddess named Hera Who spilled milk across the sky Greeks believed in that era When you look at the darkest sky on a clear summer night And you see the image of the Milky Way clear in sight Remember you can only see a small part of me Called the galactic core in my galaxy Astronomers can't look at me from outside the galaxy Because I'm so massive and you don't have the technology based on other galaxies we see outside of our own is why we conclude that our galaxy spiraled as i'm shown when you look at a side view of the milky way here you see me as a flat disc with a bulge center i appear i am the milky way galaxy look in the night sky to see a part of me i am the milky way your solar system's just a tiny part of me I was born about 13.6 billion years ago That's a hypothesis given from astronomers though I am 100,000 light years in diameter That's an estimate given by NASA though they can't be sure Your solar system's this tiny dot that you see right here Astronomers think that Orion's first where your system appears Your system's guess to be 20 5,000 light years from the galactic center of the Milky Way shown here About 230 million years is what your system takes To orbit around the Milky Way center's cool shape 200 to 400 billion stars live in me That's an estimate only based on our astronomy Over 100 billion planets might exist in me Maybe someday you can see them in our galaxy I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy 
your solar system's just a tiny part of me. Let's take a look at all the parts that you think I'm made of. We'll start by looking down at the galaxy above. The galactic core's the rotational center you can't see because of the interstellar dust it cannot be studied. It's believed the center is a supermassive black hole. When astronomers find out more than I will let you know, you'll notice the galactic bar and also the long bar. There's the three KPC arms, there is a near and there's a far. Then we have the Sagittarius and the normal arms, then the Orion spur where your solar system spins on. The Scutum Centaurus and Perseus arm are two major spirals and full of the galaxy's charm. Finally, the outer arm and the new outer arm are the final spirals I will mention in this song. I am the Milky Way Galaxy. Look in the night sky to see a part of me. I am the Milky Way Galaxy. Your solar system's just a tiny part of me. I am the Milky Way Galaxy. Look in the night sky to see a part of me. I am the Milky Way Galaxy. Your solar system's just a tiny part of me. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I am UI Scootai, the largest star in our galaxy. Find me in the night sky. I am UI Scootai, a red super giant in the Scootum constellation am I. I was first cataloged in 1860 by German astronomers at Bonn Observatory. I was named BD-125055 until my second survey I was found to be slightly more bright. That's when I was named UI Scutai, the 38th variable star of the constellation Scutum am I. I'm the largest known star in the Milky Way galaxy, but because I'm so far from Earth, you need a telescope to see me. I'm 30 times the sun's mass, but I have a radius more than 1700 times greater than the Earth's sun I span. I am UI Scutai. The largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai, a red super giant in the Scutum constellation, am I? I'm 9,500 light years away from your Earth. One light year equals about 5.88 trillion miles for what that's worth. I'm known to be one of the most luminous stars, and I am a red super giant. I hope you like me so far. I'm close to the supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A, galactic center, which is the center of our galaxy. I'm so large if you replaced your sun with me. My photosphere would span past Jupiter's orbit, as you can see. I've begun to fuse helium and continue to fuse hydrogen in the shadow around my core based on models of stellar evolution. After fusing heavy elements, my core will begin to produce iron, disrupting the balance of gravity and radiation in its core and resulting in a core collapse supernova, which is expected in stars like me. Look for me in the night sky within your galaxy. I am UI Scutai. The largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai, a red super giant in the Scutum constellation, am I? I am UI Scutai, the largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky. I am UI Scutai. A red super giant in the Scutum constellation, am I? Check out the new KLT Geography channel with new videos every Saturday. 
There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. I'm Segway 2, I'm a dwarf spheroidal galaxy situated in the constellation of Aries. My radius is 110.89 light years, they say. Discovered in 2009 by Sloan Digital Sky Survey. My name's Messier32, a dwarf early type galaxy, am I? 2.65 million light years from Earth, I fly. I was discovered in the year of 1749. I am 6,500 light years across, and that's just fine. I'm small, Magellanic Cloud, or Nubicula Minor, a dwarf irregular. Galaxy, there's nothing finer. I'm near the Milky Way, but not a stone's toss. My diameter's about 7,000 light years across. I'm Triangulum, a spiral galaxy. You see, sometimes I'm referred to as a pinwheel galaxy. I was discovered officially in 1764. I'm 50,000 light years across. This info is now yours. I'm the Whirlpool Galaxy, also called Messier 51. I'm a spiral galaxy, my arms reach out while I'm spun. I was first discovered in the year of 1773. 76,000 light years is the distance across me. I'm the Milky Way Galaxy, a gigantic spiral disk with a bright central bulge that you can't miss. I'm 100,000 light years, your sun is 8 kpc from my center. On what is known as Orion's arm, it's a real bender. I'm Hope's object, a non-typical galaxy of the type known as the Ring Galaxy, as you can see. 121,000 light years across, bigger than the Milky Way, discovered by author Hogan, 1958. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. I'm the Cartwheel Galaxy, a lenticular and ring galaxy, discovered by Fritz Wicke in 1941. I'm 150,000 light years across, my beauty is number one. I am M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, discovered by Pierre Michon in 1781, if you please. I'm 170,000 light years across, nearly twice the size of the Milky Way, now that's quite a toss. I'm the Andromeda Galaxy, a spiral galaxy, I say, in the nearest major galaxy to your Milky Way. My name stems from the constellation of Andromeda. I'm 220,000 light years across, I'll be seeing ya. I'm NGC 6872, also known as Condor Galaxy. I'm a large part spiral galaxy, I'm sure you'd agree. Discovered in 1835 by John Herschel, the boss. I'm very large at 700,000 light years across. I'm the giant temple galaxy, a disrupted part spiral, you see, I was discovered in the year of 2018. I'm 10 times the size of the Milky Way that's extremely large my friend. I'm 1 million light years long from end to end. I'm IC 1101, a super giant elliptical galaxy. I'm one of the largest known galaxies found in your universe you see. Discovered in the year of 1790 by John Herschel. 6 million light years across with stars I am full. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun, and I'm the slowest rotating one of all the planets in our solar system. Now learn and have some fun. 243 Earth days is how long it takes for me to orbit the sun. That makes just one of my days. I'm 900 degrees. 
degrees, yeah, that's Fahrenheit. I'm the hottest planet in the solar system, that's right. The sun sets in my east and comes up in my west due to retrograde rotation. I spin backwards the best. I'm the third brightest object to the naked eye from the planet of Earth. When you look up in the sky, I am Venus. I'm the second planet from the sun. And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun Carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds Is what makes up my atmosphere And for this I am very proud Volcanoes, mountains, craters, and some big lava plains Are what make up my bumpy surface And my clouds make no rain I was named Venus after the goddess of love the romans gave me my name due to my brightness above i am venus i'm the second planet from the sun and i'm the slowest rotating one of all the planets in our solar system now learn and have some fun Check out the new KLT Geography channel with new videos every Saturday. Earth has a second moon, it's me, provisionally designated, 2016 HO3, Kamul Avrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may have changed with new facts that we can avoid. I was first spotted in April of 2016 by Pan Stars Asteroid Survey Telescope. You now see this telescope is located on Haleakala in Hawaii, which is all part of the Haleakala Observatory. When I was discovered orbiting the Earth in a weird way, Kamu'u Alava was the name they gave me, even though it is extremely hard to say. I am very small compared to Earth's moon, measuring 164 feet across. I'm tiny, it's true. I circle the Earth in a repeating corkscrew like trajectory, never closer than 40 to 100 times the 239,000 mile distance of your moon, you see. I'm odd, and this is why I don't reflect brightly in certain infrared frequencies or to the eye. Like other asteroids do, I'm a quirky satellite, and this is true. Because of this, researchers are starting to agree I may be a chip off your known moon flying free. Basically, what you're seeing is a flying silicate caused by micrometeorite impacts in the space environment. It's possible when space rocks hit the moon at a high degree. When I was ejected into space, I am lunar debris. I am a near-Earth object, also known as Neo, part of a group of near-Earth asteroids called Apollo. I'm an object in a specific type of core orbital configuration with a planet. I'm called a quasi-satellite. I know it's weird, but I didn't plan it. Earth has a second moon. It's me, provisionally designated. 2016 HO3 Kamul Avrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may have changed with new facts that we can avoid. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have 67 moons that rotate around me so free. The Romans gave me my name after their king of the gods because my size is so massive in the sea of the stars. Colors to you. Galileo, I'm the fastest spinning planet.
I am the first planet from our sun, you see. My name is Mercury. Nothing orbits faster than me. The smallest planet with the second hottest degree. My name is Mercury. No one is smaller than me. Messenger of the gods is what Mercury means. The Romans gave me my name, cause I'm the fastest they'd seen. A bit bigger I be than the Earth's moon that you see. To fill the Earth one time, it would take 18 of me. I am the first planet from our sun that beams, but I'm the second hottest. I can reach 800 degrees. 88 Earth days is the amount that I take to orbit our sun once. That makes one year on me. I am the first planet. From our sun you see, my name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me. The smallest planet with the second hottest degree, my name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me. 59 Earth days equals one day on me, my surface is made of stone covered in craters you see. Oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium make up my exosphere. I have no moons and I have no rings, but I'm the second densest planet amongst other things. I am the first planet from our sun, you see. My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me. The smallest planet with the second hottest degree. My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me. My name is Ares, I am a dwarf planet. The furthest north from the sun the humans found yet. On January 5th in 2005, the Caltech Observatory had brought me to life. A team led by astronomer Michael Ground, the biggest dwarf in mass is what they had found. They believe my surface is covered in nitrogen ice, but you'd have to visit me to make sure that's precise. In 2006, the IAU named me and gave me dwarf status, yeah, officially. My name is Ares, I am a dwarf planet, the furthest north from the sun the humans found yet. Minus 390 is my average degree, if you made it to my surface then you'd probably freeze. The snow me is my one natural satellite sea. Lawlessness and it is always orbiting me I'm 27% more massive than your Pluto Yeah, Pluto is slightly larger than I am, you know I take 557 Earth years to orbit the sun When I orbit, I leave the Kuiper belt on my run My name is Ares, I am a dwarf planet The furthest north from the sun the humans found yet Check out the new KLT Geography channel with new videos every Saturday. My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun. I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks. I got my name from the Romans, it means God of the Sea. My upper atmosphere has methane, that's why I have blue on me. Hydrogen and helium are the rest of my atmosphere. I have 13 moons with one still waiting to confirm it's here. Minus 392 degrees, an average day on me. And my winds are the strongest than any planet in our system. See, my name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun. I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks. About 165 Earth years makes one Neptunian year. 57.7 Earths could fit in my giant sphere 2.8 billion miles 
is my distance from our sun One day on me is about 16 earth hours of cold fun No life as we know it could survive on me I'm the fourth largest planet in our system, you'd have to agree My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I'm Maki Maki, I was named by the human race. I'm the third largest dwarf planet in outer space. And my color is red and I have no atmosphere. Have you noticed my shape? I Mars. 
shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. My name's Almeya. I am the third dwarf from the sun. I am oval in shape due to the fast rotations I'm spun. My name's Almeya. There is Debeon who discovered me. It was either Caltech or a Spanish observatory. My first nickname was Santa before the IAU named me. In 2008, they changed me to dwarf status officially. Yeah. Second you drop 
That's my gravity pulling towards my surface top. Ten hours and thirty-nine minutes long is a day on my surface. Let's sing this song. I am Saturn, the sixth planet from the sun. I'm known for my rings by everyone. I'm the second largest planet in our solar system. Please come sing along until my teachings are done. It takes twenty-nine years for me to orbit the sun, and my rings are made up of rock and icy chunks. Eight hundred and eighty-six million miles away. Distance from the sun, that is why I'm chilly. Hydrogen and helium are what I'm mostly made of. And my atmosphere from the surface above. 26.7 is the amount of degrees to spin on my axis. I'm so cold that you freeze. I am Saturn, the sixth planet from the sun. I'm known for my rings by everyone. I'm the second largest planet in our solar system. Please come sing along until my teachings are done. I am Saturn. the new KLT Geography channel with new videos every Saturday. This is the Oort Cloud, a spherical layer of icy objects surrounding our sun. This is the Oort Cloud, which is a theoretical concept astronomers have spun. The Oort Cloud is the most distant region in the solar system. It's much farther than the Kuiper Belt. We're filling you with this wisdom. The Oort Cloud's supposedly a giant spherical shell surrounding the rest of the solar system as you're propelled. There could be billions or even trillions of objects within the Oort Cloud. That's what NASA projects. This Oort Cloud could be the source of most comets. This is thought because of a comet's long period orbit. The distance of this Oort Cloud from your sun is estimated to be 2,000 to 100,000 AU on its run. One astronomical unit or AU is the distance between Earth and the sun like you see on your screen. This is the Oort Cloud, a spherical layer of icy objects surrounding our sun. This is the Oort Cloud, which is a theoretical concept astronomers have Fun. The first description of the Oort Cloud was in 1950 by Jan Hendrik, or the Dutch astronomer you see. This Oort Cloud's divided into two regions you see here, a disc-shaped inner Oort Cloud and an outer Oort Cloud sphere. There's never been a confirmed direct observation of the Oort Cloud, so it continues to be speculation. This region's thought to have formed four 6 billion years ago after the formation of the planets in the solar system though this is the or cloud a spherical layer of icy objects surrounding our sun this is the or cloud which is a theoretical concept astronomers has spun I am the sun, the center of your solar system. I do erupt intense high energy radiation. This radiation I expel is called the solar flare. You'll learn about them in this song and why you should care. The sun is a ball of plasma like an extremely hot ocean shaped like a wheel. This plasma is pushed around and shaped by the sun's magnetic field. When the sun's plasma swirls around by its magnetic field, it gets twisted and releases energy around sunspots they are real this energy released is caused by magnetic knots when one of these knots breaks it releases solar flares so you are taught solar flares are waves of high energy radiation shot through the 
solar system in which we are all one. These solar flares race through space at the speed of light, creating a solar proton storm. These storms are no delight. When millions of tons of plasma are thrown from the sun's atmosphere, these storms are called coronal mass ejections, as you see right here. These CMEs reach speeds of 5.6 million miles per hour. When they hit Earth, it doesn't hurt living beings, even with such power. The Earth's atmosphere protects life from the biggest solar storms by absorbing the impact so beings on the surface are safe from harm. When a CME is too big, it creates a solar superstorm that occur once or twice a century, so you've been warned. If a solar superstorm did happen in this day and age, it would shoot billions of tons of plasma from the sun, I do say. If this type of CME traveled across space towards the Earth, it would reach you in one day. Yeah, that's fast for what that is worth. Its shock wave would compress Earth's magnetic field, making it frail. The two magnetic fields would merge, stretching Earth's field into a thin tail. This stretched tail can't contain this energy anymore. When it snaps, it releases explosive energy towards the Earth that it stored. This creates something very rare called the geomagnetic storm. Normally, no living thing on Earth would even know it had formed. The only thing it would affect is your electricity. Because you rely on this so much, it would disrupt human life, you see. Because Earth is covered in millions of electric wires and transformers, this geomagnetic storm would shut down the power. Humans would be overturned. If one of these storms hit the Earth, electricity and internet would not work. All things powered by electricity would turn off along with all networks. Computers wouldn't work along with phones and electronic devices. No refrigerators or any other household appliances. Even though we can't stop these terrible solar storms, their nasty side effects can be prevented by how we are warned. Engineers would have a day or two to unplug major power grids until the solar storm passes Earth, preventing blackouts we forbid. Humans need to prepare for these types of storms to prevent being thrown back to the stone age before they form. A cool event humans experience from any solar storm is the aurora borealis at the two poles is where they perform. I'm the life-giving sun, you all need me to live, but I am unpredictable, so solar storms I give. I am the sun, the center of your solar system. I do erupt intense high energy radiation. This radiation I expel is called the solar flare you learn about them in the song and why you should care shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters I'm the ISS, the International Space Station. 1998 was the year that begun my construction. I make multiple orbits around the Earth every day. Let's learn more about my history as we orbit in space. I fly around the world every 90 minutes. I orbit the Earth 16 times in 24 hours. That's legit. I'm 357 feet long from end to end. And am I? After the moon, I'm the second brightest object in your sky. I have two bathrooms on board, there's also one gym. I have six sleeping quarters and six spaceship docks for the win. Here's a brief history about how I came to be. Pay attention to my incredible collaborative construction story. The idea of the space station was science fiction until the 1940s. The structure might be built by many nations. In the 1950s, designs of spaceships and space stations began to develop with the beginning of the space age and it gained traction. The first rudimentary station was created in 1969 by the linking of two Russian Soyuz vehicles in line. In 1984, the U.S. President Ronald Reagan told NASA to build the ISS for many nations. Then in 1998, 
the construction had begun of the only international space station. That year, the first segment of the ISS launched in November 20th by the Russian proton rocket named Zarya. It's no myth. The Unity node from the US launched December 4th by the space shuttle Endeavor set it on its course. The Endeavor met Zarya in orbit with the Unity node to make the first connection with the Russian segment, you know. In the year 2000, the first crew to man the space shuttle adrift was Bill Shepard, Yuri Gatanko, and Sergei Krikalev. The US lab module was added in 2001. Then the European and Japanese lab joined in 2008, and we're not done. The ISS consists of 15 nations, Canada, Japan, and the Russian. Federation, the United States, and the European Space Agency. They are Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, and Italy. The Netherlands, Norway, Spain, and Sweden, Switzerland, and the famed United Kingdom. Maybe you will have the chance to visit me someday and be another part of the ISS and its history. I'm the ISS, the International Space Station. 1998 was the year that begun my construction. I make multiple orbits around the Earth every day. Let's learn more about my history as we orbit in space. Check out the new KLT Geography channel with new videos every Saturday. I'm a star surrounded by a circumstellar disk. My name is AG100546. I'm a star surrounded by a circumstellar disk from the constellation of Musca. Now hear this. My name is HG100546. I'm 316.4 light years from your Earth with exoplanet. I'm a star with a circumstellar disk from the distance of 0.2 AU to a few hundred AU. Now this. I'm found in the constellation of Musca, hear this. I'm a B-type star with an exoplanet that does orbit. I have an exoplanet that goes by the name you see. It is HD 100546B. I'm HD 100546B. I was discovered at the Very Large Telescope in Chile. Astronomers think I might be a large planet or brown dwarf. Located in the disk around my star on my orbital course I'm a gas giant exoplanet, they know this for sure My mass is 752 Jupiters One orbit takes 249 years around my star I'm 53 AU away from my star, that is far My discovery was announced in 2014 That's all I have to report, that's enough of Again, it's HD 10546. Let me tell you a bit more about my disc. My circumstellar disc was observed by the Hubble telescope. Which should spiral patterns what they mean? No one really knows. My disc is fairly flat with a circular shape, with a wide gap thought to be carved by my exoplanet. How great! When looking at the night sky, try to locate the constellation of Musca, but you have to look late. I'm a star surrounded by a circumstellar disk. My name is AG100546. I'm a star surrounded by a circumstellar disk from the constellation of Musca. Now hear this. Rigel, a blue-white supergiant star in the Orion constellation. I am the brightest so far. William Herschel studied astronomy. In the year of 1781, he discovered me. 
I have an estimated age of seven to nine million years as for an estimate that's fine i've exhausted my core of hydrogen fuel becoming a super giant after i expanded and i cool i expect to end my life as a type 2 supernova here is more leaving a neutron star or black hole but no one knows for sure i'm classified as a blue white super giant star how fun which is a hot luminous star that's bigger than your sun I belong to the Orion constellation Locate me from the celestial equator from Earth on my run I am visible throughout the world of this I am sure Located in the hunter's leg of Orion I assure From the Earth my distance is 860 light years to be clear One light year is the distance light travels in one Earth year 61,500 to 363,000 times as luminous as the sun Sun, my brightness is so grand But I'll vary slightly in brightness Until the day I'm done I'm thought to be 18 to 24 times More massive than your sun My radius is a straight line From my center to my circumference Which is more than 70 times That of your sun in reference My surface temperature is 12,100 kK Meaning Kelvin, a base unit Of temperature in the SI I say, the next time you're out at night Look for Orion in the Sky, look for the hunter's leg. I'm bright to the naked eye. My name is Rigel, a blue white super giant star in the Orion constellation. I am the brightest so far. My name is Rigel, a blue white super giant star. In the Orion constellation, I am the brightest so far. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. We're Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to the solar system your Earth is from. Alpha Centauri is a triple star system. We're 4.37 light years away from your sun. We're Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, which forms a pair of stars called binary. Alpha Centauri A officially Rigel Cantorus. Alpha Centauri. Centauri B officially Toliman I trust Centauri C officially Proxima Centauri Here we'll learn about our size and our luminosity Alpha Centauri A and B are sun-like stars We're the brightest stars in the constellation Centaurus by far Alpha Centauri A has 1.1 times the mass And 1.5 times the luminosity of the sun in this class Alpha Centauri B is smaller and cooler, you should know. At 0.9 times the sun's mass and 0.4 the luminosity shown. We orbit around a common center or around one another so you'd understand better. With an orbital period of almost 80 years by far. And from a distance we're so close we look like one star. I'm Proxima Centauri, a small and faint red dwarf star. You cannot see me with the naked I, though I'm the closest star by far I'm about 4.24 light years from the earth And I'm the closest star to the sun For what that is worth Discovered in 1915 by astronomer Robert Eins, I'm sure In South Africa at the Union Observatory In Johannesburg My Latin name Proxima Centauri Means when this is defined The nearest star of Centaurus That's all that's assigned We're Alpha Centauri The closest the star system to the solar system your Earth is from. Alpha Centauri is a triple star system. We're 4.37 light years away from your sun. 
We're Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, which forms a pair of stars called binary. Alpha Centauri A officially Rigel Centaurus. Alpha Centauri B officially Toliman I trust. Centauri C officially Proxima Centauri. Here we'll learn about our size and our luminosity. We're all stars, we're all stars compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. I'm the Crab Pulsar, a young neutron star. I'm Calvera, an isolated neutron star that's far. My name's Bela X1, I'm a neutron star as well. Sirius B, that's me, a small white dwarf as you can tell. I'm EBLMJ 555-57AB. My name's Trappist 1, an ultra cool red dwarf star in sight. I'm Proxima Centauri, a main sequence red dwarf star. I am your son, a yellow dwarf that isn't too far. Alpha Centauri A is an orange star, you see. I am Sirius A, a main sequence star, that's me. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. The FTS-352 contact binary 1 and 2 Composed of two very hot brain massive stars that orbit each other, it's true My name is Pollux, a red giant star here Arcturus is a red giant star, I hope I made that clear R-136A1 is a wolf riot star thus far I'm Aldebaran, a red giant star, that's me Rigel is here, a blue-white supergiant you can see. I am Beetlejuice and I'm a red supergiant in class. V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red hypergiant star with mass. I'm U.I. Scutai, the biggest red supergiant this far. Join us to sing the chorus, now get your head out of the stars. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. Check out the new KLT Geography channel with new videos every Saturday.